Hey students, I'm teacher Loma and today we will be learning about forgiveness. I hope you like this video. When someone has done something to hurt you, what do you feel like doing in return? Do you feel like hurting the person? Yes students, we all feel the same way. But it is not right to hurt somebody just because they hurt us. It is completely wrong. We must learn to forgive. What does forgive mean? To forgive means not to be angry with someone who has hurt you by saying rude things about you or by doing something mean to you. True forgiveness also means that you let go of the bad feelings you have about the person and all that happened between you two. If a friend takes away your pencil, tell the teacher at once. See that you get your pencil back and that your friend is corrected by the teacher. After that, however, know that the matter is over and continue to be his or her friend. You must continue to love him or her. This is forgiveness. It is not always easy, but it makes you a very good person. What your friend did may be wrong, but remember that your friend is not bad. If you know this, it is easy to forgive. Forgiveness is not keeping quiet because you are scared of someone. It does not mean that you let others bully or hurt you. If a boy beats you and you go home crying and the next day you let him beat you again, that is not forgiveness. If something like this happens, first tell your teacher. If the teacher is not around, firmly tell this boy to stop hitting you. If he continues, you may have to defend yourself. Once it is over, you must be ready to forgive him and be friends with him again. Forgiveness has a great power to change people. Here is a beautiful story. The name of this story is Forgiveness. Maria was from a very poor family. However, her family worked hard to put Maria in a good school because she was a bright girl. Maria joined the school but she had a very difficult time every day. Her classmates made fun of her because she wore shabby uniform. Jimmy often pulled her pigtails and made faces at her. One day, Ria spitefully told everyone that her school bag was torn by Maria. Maria lost her temper and pushed Ria. Ria then complained to the teacher and Maria got a scolding. After school, all the children of the class made fun of her and teased her. Poor Maria, poor Maria. Ma. I will not go to school, she said firmly that night to her mother. Her mother was a wise woman. She gently held Maria in her arms and said, Maria, just ignore the children who trouble you. If you forgive them, you will be happy at heart and they will also stop troubling you. Maria decided to give herself another chance. She went to school the next day and did not react when the children made fun of her. Jimmy called her stupid, but Maria just held her breath and walked away. Ria made fun of her oversized shoes, but Maria did not get angry. That day, in the art class, the teacher made Maria the team leader and told her to decide the drawing that her group would draw. Jimmy, Maria and others had to listen to her. Jimmy suggested, let's make a lion. Ria wanted them to make a giraffe. Maria said, how about making a zoo? That way you can all make your animals and we could put them together. Brilliant! shouted the children and clapped for her. 
Maria realized that her mother was right. She was glad that she had forgiven her classmates. Today no one troubles or teases Maria. They have become her friends. That's the end of the story. Now students, tell me, if Maria had not forgiven her classmates, what do you think would have happened in the art class? Yes, they would all end up fighting. But Maria took a good decision by forgiving her classmates. Now, in this picture you see a fresh tomato. Students, if I put this tomato in a tiffin for two weeks, what will happen? It will look like this or even worse. It is rotten and smelly. The tomato was fresh and red when it was first bought. But when the tomato was put away for a while, it became rotten. How did this happen? Yes, germs spoiled it. Everyone can have an active and beautiful mind, fresh, like the tomato when it was first bought. Bad feelings like anger and hate are like germs. If they remain in your mind for long, your mind will get spoiled like the tomato did. But there is a way to clean the mind and keep it fresh always. Forgive those who make you feel small, hurt you or are rude to you. When people hurt you, you might become sad or angry. That happens to everyone. But remember that anger and hate are the germs of the mind. They spoil the mind when you allow them to remain there for too long. Forgiveness throws out these germs. It helps you to keep your mind fresh and beautiful always. So students, whenever you feel angry with your friends, brothers, sisters or your family, try to forgive them. Those little fights will keep happening, but you need to forgive them every time. Forgiving these things can make you a very good person. With this, we end this lesson on forgiveness. Thank you students. Take care.